Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to each one of you as we once again continue our Easter journey with the Lord. We see here his message, receive him, and walk with the risen Lord. Today is Wednesday, the fourth week of Easter. And we've got uh, quite a number of intentions. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving, thanking God for keeping us all safe. For my daughter who got a job on the 29th of March. We are all positive, the whole family, but thanks, we are recovered. Another individual uh, working much for his parish and his community, recovered from, thanks for recovery from COVID. My husband and I have just been confirmed that we are pregnant, another, expecting another baby after two and a half years. Thanksgiving to the Lord, recovery of my wife and niece, permanent job in the US, you know, in TCS, sorry. Thanksgiving to our Lord for granting PhD admission to my daughter. Quite a number for spiritual well-being, good health, total healing of all heart ailments, Mother-in-law, 80 years old, suffering from asthma. Special friend, very young, suffering from multiple illnesses suddenly. My parents, sister, brother-in-law, keep us from COVID. My daughter, who is an autistic child, family for good health. My uncle and aunt, Domivli, not being keeping well since last week. Thank you for cataract surgery. Pray for my daughter, suffer from eczema. Pray that I have a healthy baby. Health for my husband, high diabetes. My wife, diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. For the family, justice, satisfaction, and peace of mind. Financial and physical protection of our family. Happiness, good health, safety. For my mother, who's going to her native place. My brother, who's a down syndrome child pray that i have better sleep at night mass for a healthy family life for all our family love peace and unity in our family there are uh, many for repose of souls about 21 
my mother who passed away last year on the 28th, for all the souls of our families, soul of my cousin passed away recently, my elder brother, 17th death anniversary on the 24th, my father-in-law passed away on the 19th of April due to pancreatic cancer, soul of our neighbor, auntie passed away on the 13th of April to COVID, pray for my 45-year-old cousin, passed away on the 22nd of April, our dear friend who passed away on the 17th of April, 80 years old, working in our school, thanksgiving to Almighty in memory of so-and-so, soul of my friend who passed away on the 16th of April, 22nd of March, soul of so-and-so, my brother-in-law passed away due to COVID, my mother, 23rd death anniversary on the 22nd. My mother passed away eight years ago. Mass for a friend who passed on 20th of April. My grandfather, for my husband and a dearly loved uncle, my favorite uncle, passed away on the 17th of April. I think I know this family. Prayer request my father-in-law, 100th birth anniversary on 25th of April. So, soul of so-and-so died 27th of May. 29th of March, today, 24th of April, my mother's birthday. Help me to find a suitable life partner. The life partner who has come and has gone back, looking for a suitable room abroad, daughter's marriage. For a good job, final exam, 24th of April. Son is waiting for his exam re results. Success in studies, good internship. Pray for my visa renew in the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. My daughter, my daughter, in your prayers, prepares for UPSC exams. My job safe, job for my brother, completing his master in the US. I would like to find a job. My son studies in Germany. My so-and-so go on a ship soon. Brother's house in Canada. Repairs to my house. Please pay for the return of a huge sum loaned to a friend. Who has just I trusted him, but just disappeared, leaving me in a dire state. Pray our income tax problem be resolved. Protection against all kinds of evil. My daughter-in-law safe journey, leaving on the 23rd of April for Australia. Thanksgiving for sacerdotal uh, silver jubilee on 27th of April. My parents, 20, 55 years of marriage, 23rd of April. 25th wedding anniversary, 28th of April. 28th wedding anniversary on the 23rd of April. 18th wedding anniversary. 15th anniversary on the 29th of April. 20, 34 years of married life on the 1st of May. There are a few more. Pray for our son, celebrate the 5th anniversary on the 1st of May. Pray for those celebrating birthday on the 27th of April. My son, birthday 27th of April. For a final clearance of my court case, and there are five for COVID. Seizing of troubles that have come at workplace. Pray for all suffering from COVID be readmitted. Mother of good health, we pray for protection against the virus. For recovery of all suffering from COVID, pray for India. I know that it's long, but each of these uh, is an ardent cry of these people to God. We join them in this ardent cry, sincere plea to God to bless all those in great distress, those who have died, those who are sick, those who seek something from the Lord, but those also thanking the Lord. Let's begin the sacrifice now in God's presence, saying sorry to him for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You come to plead for the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise 
we always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the word of God increased and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had completed their service, bringing with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manen, a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response shall be, Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Kindly repeat. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us. And let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your salvation. Our response, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Our response, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing that all the ends of the earth may revere him. Our response, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. Whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come into the world as light, that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive me and my words has a judge. The words that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment, what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment has eternal life. What I say, therefore, I say as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, We continue the reading from John after Easter. Every year we read from John. John, as I was saying, is a, a theologian, 
reflecting uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are giving more the historical uh, life of Jesus, and we read them on years A, B, and C. So every third year you have that. But John is a theologian, and we, every now and then we hear him at different parts uh, of the year. And now here, this whole uh, whole of this Easter season, we've been hearing of John. We heard about how he spoke about the Eucharist and his reflections, and now this uh, text which you are hearing is uh, from. 12, uh, chapter 12, it's practically the end of Jesus' discourse before he goes to the Passion. It's one part of John's Gospel is getting over, as it were, where he is giving his farewell discourse almost at, before going on to the, his final journey, which will take him to the cross, which Jesus knows. There are many things here which we could reflect on and we need to read, but you see Jesus says, I have not come to judge the world, but to save it. He's so conscious of the fact that he's going now to the cross, which will bring redemption. I'm, all I'm doing, I do not want to judge. I do not want to condemn. Uh, and you, you saw also in the cross, continuously, he, he, the mission is to, condemn, uh, to uh, bring back every, to show God's compassion and unite everybody as one family to go to the Father. Here we have continuously reference to the Father showing that it is God, God is one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, really one God. Uh, really, it, I'm giving you the message from God. You're, when you see me, you see God. He's little by little illumining their minds for the revelation, final revelation. It will come only at the resurrection, but this is really leading up to the passion. Uh, read it, reflect on it. It's, it's theological, so difficult to fully understand. But uh, every time we read, we get some more insight. The first reading from uh, the Acts, uh, again, is the story of now uh, the missionary church. Uh, no, they've gone back. We've had uh, Barnabas and Paul returned from Jerusalem. Uh, don't forget that the church is centered not in Rome as it is today. Jerusalem is where everything happens, where the passion of our Lord happened. His death happened, his crucifixion happened, and in the Holy Land also, the first apparitions also happened over there to Peter, the apostles, before then, afterwards, then Jesus appeared to them in Galilee. So that's really the center. So they were in, they returned from Jerusalem, they had gone, uh, Paul had gone over there, and then uh, they were preaching. They returned from Jerusalem after they had finished whatever work they had, and they were, were in Antioch. And we hear here that there are many of them preaching. We have even the names of those who are preaching. And they realized they felt from the Holy Spirit. They were inspired in prayer to feel, let Saul, Paul, and Barnabas be set aside for another work. And so they pray. And so now the first missionaries in the history of the world now are going out to give the good news. Imagine if this had not happened, they would be only in the Holy Land where Jesus died and they were preaching over there. But they felt inspired. Let's go to other places also and tell them about Jesus. Uh, they say that Barnabas was probably from Cyprus. So they go there to preach. And they take with them John Mark, wrote the second gospel. And he, they say he's probably a cousin of Barnabas. So they go there and begin. So they felt inspired to go out and give the good news. All of us, every now and then, are inspired to go out and give the good news by what we say, what we do in particular, our lives of love, justice, bringing peace and reconciliation, harmony. That's really a Christian life. That's what we are called to be. When I used to go to the Gulf, sometime for marriage cases years ago, 30 years ago, I remember having met some people who felt inspired uh, to take leave from their job there, Dubai or Bahrain, for a year, and go to different countries, Syria, go to uh, places where they said they would go and preach the gospel. They would take leave for a year and go and preach, and come back afterwards feeling so uh, inspired. The, all began with today's gospel, today's first reading, where Paul and Barnabas go out as missionaries. Let us also ask the Lord to make us missionaries in the way he wants us to, not to go, we can't leave our families and go out, most of you cannot, 
but then uh, to bring God's word to people in the way that he wants us to. Today is the feast of Saint uh, Louis Marie de Montfort. Uh, now he's uh, ordained by the Jesuits, uh, sorry, trained by the Jesuits, but finally, and then also the Sulpicians, but he became a diocesan priest and in France. And uh, then he began preaching missions and, and he felt a great devotion to Our Lady. He's written a book, True Devotion to the Blessed Virgin, which is a classic, classic really. And uh, many people have been inspired to consecrate their lives uh, to Jesus through Mary because of uh, his explanation of how we can become disciples of Jesus through the intercession of Mary and by imitating Mary who was the perfect disciple, true discipleship of our, of, uh, our Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, uh, they, he, then he started a Montfort Brothers. Also there are some fathers, some sisters. Montfort Brothers are much known all over the world for their good schools, education. All that began and really a devotion which is Marian. Uh, we pray that we also learn from him how to become really disciples of Mary. I want to say one of those who was very much influenced by uh, St. Louis Marie de Montfort was John Paul II. If you've seen his crest, it is totus tuus, all yours. This is taken from the book which uh, uh, St. Louis Marie de Montfort wrote, where he speaks of totally belonging to Jesus, but first put totally giving ourselves to Mary, who will show us how to totally belong to Jesus. And uh, before he died, St. John Paul went to the tomb of uh, Louis Marie de Montfort and he prayed over there. And he said to the bystanders there, uh, I'm so happy I've been able to come to the tomb of him uh, to whom I owe so very much my understanding of devotion to Mary. And he mentioned the book that he wrote. Let's pray to John Paul also to help us to understand really what uh, um, St. Louis Marie de Montfort wanted us to do, become disciples of Jesus by imitating Mary. God bless you and a happy feast to all the Montfort brothers and fathers and sisters. God bless. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. To be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. 
integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. sacred part of the mass and remember all these intentions which we offer which people ardently are praying for you are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Marie, Louis Marie de Montfort, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Over the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. To only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Graciously be pre present to Your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God bless you. A happy feast to all the Montfort brothers, fathers. You're also in Archdiocese Bombay, but you're also a very big presence in uh, Hyderabad, I think. I met you all, uh, being over there, and, and all over the world. Uh, devotion to Our Lady. Thank you very much for all you're doing. And uh, pray to Our Lady today is Wednesday also. And we'll see each other tomorrow. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe 
and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just change.